Hi there, thanks for tuning in. My name's Carrie. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, welcome back. We appreciate you. Thought I would do a vlog today and just kind of show you what we got going on. I think we're gonna spend a little time in the greenhouse. Um, might take you around the garden. You can see what it looks like now and kind of what our plans are in the very near future. And you never know what else might pop up. So um, come along with us and hope you enjoy. Let's check on these goats. Make sure they're all doing okay. We have one of our does isn't, doesn't seem herself. We've been actually um, giving her penicillin for a week now. I'm giving her extra feed. And we've got one doe that if she doesn't have these babies soon, they are, she's going to run out of space. She's probably already run out of space. How many milk? Our doe right there is the one who hasn't been herself lately. She had, her poo wasn't right. Goats should have like basically berries or little pellets. And she didn't. She had, um, it was clumpy at first. Then it was like a solid mass, not even clumpy, just solid. And then it was wet. So we've been working on her and she just hasn't, she just hasn't been herself. She's perked up a little bit lately, but we're still giving her extra feed. That's our buck. Put the crap out of her. Oh, goodness. And this is how, this is where we've been feeding them at. We'll feed her because she's not feeling so great. And we'll feed the white one here because she's expecting, um, we're guessing, like 17 babies. We really don't know. <laughs> There's got to be more than two. She's, she doesn't look quite as big here on camera, but she is large. And I swear we had thought she'd have, she was going to have babies like three weeks ago. We just, we just don't know when it's going to be. So we've been keeping a close eye on her, checking her backside for any signs. And so far it hasn't happened. Back there is our our newest baby. She is, you can barely see her. She's solid black. She literally has like four white hairs and a little clump on one of her sides. Otherwise, she's all black. And that's her mama. And what's funny is this white one, or this black one, is the grandbaby of the white one. So it's funny that she saw a black because her daddy is orange, or her daddy is red. So anyway, very interesting. But no babies yet this morning. Huh, milk? But yeah, we let them up. These stairs are retractable. We can pull them up. There's our little pulley. But we just let them up right here in this corner. Give them a bucket with a cup of feed. But we they got fed twice yesterday because they're little hosses. So I'm not worried about them this morning. We'll catch them later today or this evening. Yeah, you just ate last night, girly girl. But everybody's doing okay. Still no babies. So the day did not start off well. Early this morning, I'm not even sure little man had had his breakfast yet. He discovered that um, one of our chicks died. We just got these babies two days ago, literally two days ago. And um, one of them died this morning. He came over and saw it. It was laying on her, she was laying on her side, um, kind of jerking a little bit, closed her eye, had her eyes closed. And I came over and picked her up and she died in my hand. It was terrible, um, but we knew it was a possibility. We ordered six chicks. They gave us seven. So, I mean, that's just, you know, something that happens with little babies. He was pretty upset about it, but he and um, his dad went and buried it. So, little chick um, got buried today. Little man and I were just having lunch. And he said, Mom, look at that big bird in the woods. Because we, we have woods right behind our house. We can see from the kitchen table it was a hawk so i'm like i'm gonna go outside and uh, make sure the 
chickens are okay. And the chickens apparently have already spotted him or her because they are all under the coop. We moved the coop down here like last summer, late last summer. And we bought some chicken wire to put across the top to keep hawks out, but we haven't got it on yet. And we did lose a chicken a month or two ago to a hawk, a big old hawk too. He was big. But um, they've seen him. I'll go down here so you can see where they're all hiding out at. This is what they do. But what was scary about the last hawk that came down and took a chicken, um, yeah, that one had balls because he went underneath the coop to get the chicken. See, that's where they hang out. Hi, Jackie. Hi, girls. I know he's out there. I saw him. Let's see, everybody's underneath the coop. I gotta keep an eye out for him. See, there's the house. He was back in the woods behind the house. We'll occasionally see him out here in the trees. Get in there, little Missy. Our little cattle panel greenhouses. Maybe not 100% finished yet. We have some finishing touches we want to add to it. Just some, you know, little fancy things I want to do. Just to make it a little more, um, oh, what do I want to say? A little more, I don't know. Um, a little more organized, maybe. Something a little more convenient. It gets hot in here, you guys. So hot in here. We have the back window open. And I have the screen open on the door. Hi, Jackie. The dog wants to come in, but he'll just pant. It doesn't feel too bad in here right now, even though the thermometer says it's 100. It doesn't feel that bad. Earlier today, the little guy and I came out and started some seeds that we had saved from last year. <clears throat> our garden last year was amazing. So we started Amish Paste Tomatoes. That's our favorite um, kind of tomato for canning. And then our cantaloupe were amazing last year too. Gosh, our cantaloupe are so great. So we saved seeds from them. So we started some cantaloupe, some green bell pepper, shishito peppers, and poblano peppers and I can't believe I didn't save any cherry tomatoes we had maybe two different kinds of cherry tomatoes and I, I my little seed basket over here I don't have one bag of cherry tomatoes in it that's really technical see <laughs> it's not a long wordy board but anyway we came out here earlier today and started these and then he filled up or took our seed starting mix as far as it would go in the rest of the trays. And I tell you, I'm kind of regretting the trays I bought. I bought um, kind of big ones, you know, to, I was hoping that, you know, we could avoid transplanting, right? Like if I start them in something tiny, then I've got to move them to something bigger. So I thought I would start, in some, start them in something bigger so I wouldn't have to transplant and they could have as much space as they needed. But to start out in something big you can have a lot of seed starting mix so maybe that wasn't the best idea I'm not sure we're gonna go later today and get some more bags of mix but this is what we used let me see if I can straighten it out here with one hand it was this by NK lawn and garden and organic seed starting mix it is eight dry quarts and this is how far eight quarts got us. Those two full trays and two more full trays. I mean, not eight quarts, 24 quarts, because we had three bags. So, four full trays and then another piece of a tray. So, it didn't get us very far. So, we have three and a piece to go. And then we have one tray that doesn't have... Um, little pots in it yet, so... We're probably going to use some recycle 
you know, yogurt cups and stuff like that that we saved to fill this pot. But one day last week we came out and we didn't have our seed starting mix yet. We just had a potting mix and I said, let's go and try, you know, let's go start something in there. I couldn't, I couldn't stand not having anything out here. So we did and the arugula has popped up. I don't see any eggplant or basil yet. I know basil takes a while to germinate, so it might be the last thing to pop up out of this group, but hopefully it still will. That gives me hope that everything else will since the arugula popped up in potting mix. I know it's not ideal, but you know, we were itching to get out here and get something done. And we just don't go to the store that often. We're not, we stay close to home. I mean, we're really homebodies and even more so since COVID happened. So we don't do, we don't go many places. So it's not like I'm out in town a lot and I can just run and stop and get seed starting mix. It's kind of like, you know, we got to plan it. But anyway, I was happy that we got some seeds started. So I'm sure I'll keep y'all updated on how these come along and um, what else we plant. So I'm gonna get some more tomatoes and maybe some flowers and we'll see if my mom wants me to start anything for her. But anyway, there's our little greenhouse currently. At least we're using this. I'm very happy with it. it turned out great. It's early April and we're in Indiana, so we haven't really done anything with the garden yet. It's been, it's probably tillable, like it's probably dry enough that we could till, but we need to clean up a little bit before we can till, clearly. I've got these, um, these raised beds that we had I had flowers, um, zinnias in this one, and then zinnias in the far one too. But once we took, once we pulled the flowers out and emptied them out, we noticed that like the dirt had settled in pretty good. So I'm, I want to find a few big bags of compost or hummus and manure to put in these. I want to. My goal is to plant. Well, not a goal, but it's what I want to do is to plant zinnias in this one again because they were they were so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I was, it was it was just lovely. Anyway, so zinnias in this one again, but I want to get some um, hummus, manure, compost, something to kind of top it off because it's pretty low. And then this one here has our garlic in it, which is doing great. Um, and what's so funny about the rest of this, we thought we had planted the whole thing in garlic. Y'all are going to think I'm a, I'm a dummy. When my husband tilled up the garden last year, um, we had had a spot way back in the corner, like back in that back far corner, we had had a little garlic patch every year. So he tilled up the garden and my little boy kept finding things that look like garlic bulbs. So we were like, let's save them, let's save them and plant them, we'll plant them. So we did and they weren't garlic. I'm pretty sure it's some wild onion. <laughs> so over here, these three rows, I had a friend um, who lives near a, a good farmer's market. I saw that one of the farmers was bringing some garlic and I had him, hey, run over there and grab me some um, heads of garlic. And so he did, and I can't remember. I took a picture so I know which row is which, but I can't remember what their names are. But the first two rows are that garlic that came from that farmer's market. And then this other row is a purple, a purple skin garlic that I picked up at another local farmer's market. And then the rest, we thought we planted in garlic that came out of our own garden, but alas, it was not. So anyway, I think we're gonna um, plant beets here since beets like are so much trouble because they they come up you know slower than the weeds do so they're just a pain so if we have just a small little patch of beets that we can easily weed and get to maybe we can you know have some success with beets again so we're going to pull this pine pine um needle mulch off and um you know mess the dirt up a little bit and plant some beets there and then we'll mulch it again, so hopefully that'll help. And the pine needle mulch, we had never used it before, but it worked great. Um, we just got it from our own pine trees over here. We have a whole, we have a big line of pine trees. So we just went over and 
raked them up and brought it over while we planted the garlic. Worked out perfectly, perfectly. Okay, so then in this last one, it is still a little low too, like the first bed is. So I want to get at least one, maybe two bags of the same thing, compost or hummus or manure, whatever, <clears throat> to kind of fill this one up too. And we're going to plant onion here. And I'm going to try planting onion by seed. And so tonight, when the little guy and I are going to run to local farm store, Rural King, and we're going to buy some more seed starting mix to start more seeds. We're going to see what kind of seeds they have. If they have what we're looking for, we'll buy some seeds and see if we can get some bags of compost or whatever to put in these three beds so that we can get this these onions planted like tomorrow. I want to get them done. So we'll mess, this, mess these beds up a little bit with a rake, shovel, hoe, whatever, and um, try and mix in some compost. We need a little a little bitty tiller that we can pop in them. We're kind of on the lookout for one, so hopefully we find one, find a good deal somewhere. Probably be a used one, that's what we do. But anyway, we'll see how, we'll see how they turn out. It's been quite a day around here. I thought I'd end this vlog by showing you how these baby chicks sleep. Sometimes they look like they're dead. They just strip their heads out. A couple of them have their faces buried straight in their little shavings. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We hope you'll come back. If you like content like this, like our video, and hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.